Thank you for taking the time to watch. My name is Jeffrey Katz and I'm a Senior Finance Solution Architect with Western Computer. Welcome to part one of our four-part series on workflow in Dynamics 365. In part one, I'll be reviewing General Ledger Journal Workflow. There are four out-of-box workflow types. For today, I'll be focusing on Ledger Daily Journal Workflow. There are also five out-of-box workflow elements. These elements are what you use to design your workflow. They are approved daily journal with flow controls of conditional decisions, manual decisions, parallel activities, and sub workflows. Other features include approximately 145 out of box workflows, an easy to use graphical interface, the ability to drag and drop elements onto the workflow canvas, multiple ways to assign movers to your workflow. Email notifications so you know when it's your time to approve, as well as the ability to maintain different versions of the same workflow. I'm now going to log into Dynamics 365 and go into the workflow editor. I'm now in the workflow editor where I already created a very simple workflow. On the left hand side are the workflow elements I had talked about earlier. In the center screen is our workflow canvas. In this workflow that I created already, I have a simple approval where it takes two approvers before a batch or a journal can be posted. Now let's say I want to add conditional statements to my workflow. What I would do is I would remove my flow arrows. I would drag and drop my conditional onto my canvas. I would reset my flow arrows so that when the journal is submitted, it goes and hits a condition. It would then take one of two paths. So we're going to finish up our arrows. So the conditional is where we can preset a preset condition. So if I go into my settings, here we can set a condition. That condition can be one of many different decisions. It could be based on a financial dimension that you're using. So maybe it's a division. If it's this division, go to the left. If it's this decision, go to the right, so on and so forth. But when it hits this conditional, it knows at that point whether it needs to go to the left or to the right. At that point, it's going to hit the approver that's assigned to this element. If I go down one level, this is where I can go ahead and assign my approver. So in this case, I use the user and I've assigned two different people. Now, I can have it where all people have to approve or I can set it to only a single approver. And we would do the same thing on the right side. Again, we would go down one level so that we can make our assignment. We would go into assignment. We would go to user. And here you can see that I have two different users that would do the approval. Once it's been fully approved, our batch is now ready to be posted within D365. Thank you for watching. Please watch for part two of our series on accounts payable invoice journal workflow. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on Western Computer's video releases around Microsoft Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. Thank you.